the following is a more circle example given the following element right here this one we need to work out the principal stresses one and two and we need to work out the maximum shear stresses we also need to work out the orientation of the plane experiencing the principal stresses and finally draw, draw more circle so if we look over here we have 10 pointing out sorry this these should be pointing out and we've got the 5 and 5 down here okay so we've got this element we have normal stresses in the x direction 10 and we have normal stresses in the y direction of 5 we also have uh, shear stresses of 1 megapascal on the element okay so I'm going to use this side and this side on this side we can see that the shear stress is making a clockwise moment so this is minus 1 on this side we have a anti-clockwise moment so it's positive 1 so the coordinates are 10 and minus 1 and minus 5 and 1 so we start off by drawing our circle we draw the original two points which is this line this point and this point and we plot that immediately and this is the diameter of our circle second step using the midpoint formula we can work out the center of the circle so using this point and this point and taking the midpoints of the x and y coordinates we can see that the center of the circle occurs at 2.5 and 0 so and we draw that in here right so that's the center of the circle and the diameter drawn already